you're so happy to say you're selected for the Wall World Cup. One of, if not the only thing I've ever wanted to do in my career is go to a World Cup and yeah, it meant, it meant the world. I feel like I've done a lot to be here and I just can't believe it's happening, you know? <laughs> I definitely fell out of love with the game when I was 19, 20. Just wasn't enjoying it. I was at a bit of a standstill and at a point as well where it's like, yeah, well, do I commit fully and try and make it a full-time thing? Do I find something else? What do I enjoy? You know, like I was trying to figure out myself. I got help with the sports psych at that point and he helped me a lot and just brought me back to, yeah, like, well, why am I still playing? Like, what's the reason? And um, there was a striving for perfectionism uh, thing as well back then. And, you know, he said to focus on things you can control, not the things you can't. And that helped me bring it, stripping it back. It helped me just to get back into that groove and found things I like to do, found enjoyment in other things, you know, and then I started my degree and <clears throat> just it, it kept building away from football, but it made football way better. And yeah, I just fell back in love with it. Started to do really well, started, got signed with Sydney, uh, took off with Sydney and the whirlwind happened. Yeah, after I got selected, I was so drained and exhausted and I think I didn't realise how much I was holding on to it, that selection process and getting selected for this you know, lifelong goal that I've had on my back of my door since I was 12 um, and then yeah, getting selected for not only the World Cup but on home soil was just that extra bit of, is that really happening to me? Fine, Need to get away from Carter, she's done just that. I think you can always strive to be good at something but I don't think anything's ever perfect and that's something I have to really like come to terms with a bit more and I just want to be better and better each game and I feel like that could just be an athlete's mindset that you can always do better the touch can be better the run can be better I can work harder like there's it's just a never-ending cycle of wanting to improve and I would say from where I started to where I am now uh, I'm definitely in a better place with how I feel about my position within the squad. Um, I think how I've performed at international level, you know, makes me feel better about why I'm here and uh, that I deserve to be here. Just tried to tell myself to just enjoy it, like just enjoy being with a crowd of 80,000 Aussies basically um, and just sing that national anthem with pride and this is a big moment of my career and for my life, being a part of this FIFA Women's World Cup. Yeah, I just tried to tell myself to just focus on that moment first before we even step out on the field because once I'm out there, I'm fine. It's always the lead up I feel the most anxious and nervous about. Um, but once I'm out there, I do just switch into game mode and I'd, I'd say that's probably when I'm my most confident uh, is on the field. Courtney Vine on the right foot! Top corner! Courtney Vine! I would much rather assist than score. I don't know, there's something really satisfying about putting a really nice cross in for someone to tap away. You practice, yeah, the most out there to like assist more than score. And it's not that I don't like scoring, like I love scoring, um, but I really just want to get an assist. I really value what my team thinks. I really crave like reassurance and like positivity on the field and encouragement. Like if I stuff up, I need someone to be like, let's go again, you got it, like all good. And I think in that Ireland game, it was really nice because everyone was really getting around each other before the game and was really, you know, had a few girls come up to me and say like, we back you so much, you just do what you do. And just hearing those little things, I think you can, that's where my confidence comes from a lot more, which it shouldn't, it should really just come from within. But um, I think in a team sport, you do, value what everyone else thinks in your team. There's goals I want to achieve with my, with my career and it's my enjoyment. It used to be like a hobby thing. Now it's like a full-time career thing. And it's just, it's great to be a part of it. But I think I play for a lot of other people, probably more <laughs> than I play for myself. I want to make my family proud. I want to make my girlfriend proud. I want to make my friends proud. And they all are. 
But for me, I feel like they're the big motivators to go out there. My mum, I have to say, she's my biggest supporter. She just thinks I'm the best person in the world. It's always really nice um, from a parent to feel that love and you know, have a big shrine at home that she's created. <laughs> it's in my room, so when I go back, I'm everywhere. Um, yeah, the Vine Shrine, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I think uh, beating those big top 10 teams in the world, um, leading into the World Cup has helped as a collective with our confidence and what we've been working towards. Um, the vibe around is that we all know the plan, like we all, everyone knows their role. And it's not, it's not an arrogant confidence thing that we're gonna win games or, or anything like that. It's a, we know our plan and if we do it right, we're probably gonna win. I think the Australian public is driving me a, a, a lot. Uh, I really want to make everyone so proud um, to be Australian. Also just the girls in general, I feel like it's always really nice when you all have a common goal. Um, so to do that with them would be amazing, not only for us, but again, I think with the legacy it'll leave. To be successful at this World Cup, to win it, uh, I just think could just have a big ripple effect for Australian football, For women's, men's, um, and that's all I want. I want to see uh, for Australia and yeah, to do it for, for everyone that supported me would just yeah, be another thing that I never dreamt of happening.